guys. So for part two today, we're going to talk about different types of sentences. So I have two sentences written on this board here for you. Take a second and go ahead and read them. So the first one says, he got a big dog. The second one says, did he get a big dog? So each of these sentences is a particular type of sentence. They both start with capitals, but they both end with something, oops, sorry, both end with something different, right? This first sentence, he got a big dog, ends in a what? Ends in a period, right? So this is a statement. If it ends in a period, he got a big dog, ends in a period, this is called a statement. The second sentence, did he get a big dog, ends in a what? What's this thing called? It's a question mark. You can draw a question mark in the air if you want to. So things that end in a question mark, sentences that end in a question mark are questions. They're asking you something. So we have two different types of sentences. Sentences that end in a period, statement, done. Period, giving you a statement, that's it. If somebody's asking you a question, if a sentence is asking you a question, it ends in a question mark, okay? I'm gonna play this flow cab on punctuation. It's gonna talk about exclamation points too. We've learned a little bit about those, so feel free to sing along with that part. Here, let me pull this up for ya. Ooh. Welcome to the punctuation party. We're end marks. We're end marks? What do we do? We do all kinds of cool stuff. We tell you when to stop. We tell you when a thought has been completed. We just slow down, exclamation point. The party's just getting started. It is. Hi, I'm a period, not the boast, but I'm the end punctuation you'll see the most. Yeah. I come at the end of a telling sentence. Those give information like I am a dentist. A sentence with the period is a statement. It tells or states some information. Use your normal voice anytime you read. Uh, a sentence that ends with a little old me. Your yeah. voice might go down for the last few words. Mouthwash is good for killing germs. Yo, you'll see me in commands too. Those are sentences that tell you what to do check it open your mouth uh, take a drink yeah. goggle the border and then spit it in the sink uh, i'm the party goer who only tells soon you'll meet one who asks and, and one who yells there are three punctuation marks you'll find at the end of every sentence oh my a period tells a question mark asks exclamation point show feelings to the max there are three punctuation marks you'll find at the end of every sentence Oh my, a period tells. A question mark asks. Exclamation point, show feelings to the back. Do you know who I am? Have you seen me before? I'm the question mark. Would you like to know more? I'm at the end of questions, asking sentences like, why did you buy that poor old dentist? Questions often start with who, when, where, what, why, did, can, or how is your son now? At the end of a question, what does your voice do? It should go up like it's going through the roof. Hey, I can't wait to tell you who I am and what I do. I'm the exclamation point. Yahoo! I come at the end of sentences to show excitement. I show strong feelings and I can't hide it. Exclamations are loud. I supply happiness, sadness, anger, what? surprise. Like feeling in your voice when I'm around. Come on. Like if your finger gets bit and you yell, ouch. There are three punctuation marks you'll find at the end of every sentence. Oh my. A period tells. A question mark asks. Exclamation point show feelings to the max. There are three punctuation marks you'll find at the end of every sentence. Oh my. A period tells. A question mark asks. Exclamation point show feelings to the max. Well, this is the end of the song. What should we do now? I'm going to read a book. Well, I'm going on a big vacation. Where are you going? I'm going to Spain. I'm going to flip myself upside down. All right, so the important thing to get out of that video for today, statement tells, that's your period, a question mark is going to ask a question. Okay, so I'm going to test you a little bit. I'm going to give you a sentence, and I want you to tell me and show me 
whether it's going to be a period at the end. So if it's going to be a period, just go period or a question mark. And you can draw a question mark in the air. Okay. First sentence. Abraham likes to go swimming. Is it going to be a period or a question mark? It's going to be a period, right? Because we're telling you, I'm telling you Abraham likes to go swimming. I'm not asking you. I'm just telling you. All right, second one. Does your grandma like flowers? How would that end with a period or a question mark? Does your grandma like flowers? It's going to be a question, right? Here, my voice went up at the end, so we're going to draw a question mark. Have you ever played checkers? Asking a question. Good. Question mark. Last one. We like to play games with our friends. We like to play games with our friends. Statement, period, at the end. All right, I wrote two more practice ones for us. First one on the top, read that for me. I'll slide that down so you don't read the bottom. And you're gonna tell me what goes at the end. It says, Kate had a lot of fun. Are we gonna put a period at the end or a question mark? Is this a statement or a question? Statement, right? So I'm just going to put a little boop. Your periods don't have to be that big. They can just be little dots like that. Good. Statement, it's telling us Kate had a lot of fun. I'm going to slide up. Second sentence says, or you read it and then I'll read it to you. Where did Kate spend last summer? Where did Kate spend last summer? Is that going to be a question mark at the end or a period at the end? These words right here will help you decide a lot of the time. Your question words are usually going to start your questions. So this is a question, so we're going to put a question mark at the end. Ta-da! Good work. Okay. If you're in Google Classroom, what you will find is this Google form called Statement or Question. What you're going to need to do is just go through... You're going to read these sentences, and you're going to decide whether it would end in a period or a question. You just choose. Easy peasy. No writing involved. Send it back to me when you're done. Bye, guys.